Okay, on E7, it's going to be your favorite lesson of all times. Not really, <laughs> because we have word problems. Do not shut down on me because it says word problems. It's going to be okay. You're going to be able to do it. No worries. Solve a system of equations using substitution word problems. So write a system of equations to describe the situation below. Solve using substitution and fill in the blanks. While visiting Landbury, Amanda can pay a flat rate of $20 for parking or $5 per hour. For the length of time that Amanda wants to park in Landbury, the two options are actually equivalent, which means that they are equal in terms of cost. For how long does Amanda want to park? How much will Amanda pay? So we have parking and we have paying. So for word problems, you are going to use variables or letters to be able to work the problem out. Now in this car, this car, this problem, we are talking about hours and paying. So I am going to use H for hours and P for paying. All right, so let's go back to the words. Amanda can pay a flat rate of $20 per parking. Okay. Or $5 per hour. So she can either pay $20 no matter what all day long or she can pay five dollars for every hour so if she parked for one hour she would pay five dollars if she parked for two hours she would pay ten dollars we want to know when these are equivalent okay some of you have already figured out that you know okay so if they're equivalent then you're going to pay twenty dollars because P is already solved for itself, P is 20. So to use substitution, we're going to put this 20 in for this P. That's what substitution means. So if we're paying $20, how many hours could she park if she was paying hourly? So you would divide by 5, and what's 20 divided by four, 5? 4. So if she parked for 4 hours, and she paid hourly, she would pay 20 bucks. Or if she paid the flat rate, she would pay 20 bucks. That's what it's looking for. Perry and his good buddy, his good buddy Brett, are both mechanics at a shop that does oil changes. They are in a friendly competition to see who can complete the most oil changes in one day. Perry already finished, I'm going to underline some information. Perry has already finished eight oil changes today and can complete more at a rate of two oil changes per hour. Brett just came on shift and can finish four oil changes every hour. Sometimes during, during the day, the friends will be tied. With the same number of oil changes completed, how long will that take? How many oil changes will Perry and Brett each have? So first off, we want to figure out what our letters are that we're going to use. So we're going to use H for hours. And complete oil changes. I don't want to use O because it looks like a zero. So let's use C for changes. Okay. So let's talk about Perry. What has Perry done? Perry has already completed eight oil changes. 
and can complete more at a rate of two per hour. So I underline that in black, so let's write Perry in black. So the amount of changes he can do is two per hour, but he's already done eight. Brett just came on shift, so Brett hasn't done anything. So Brett's oil changes is going to be four oil changes every hour. See how the C and the C are already solved for each other? So we're going to say 2H plus 8 equals 4H, just like what we did in E6. We're going to subtract the 2H. And then we would divide by 2. So our hours is 4 hours. And 4 hours are going to have the same amount of oil changes. Let's see if that's right. If we put 4 in for hours here, how many changes would Brett do? 16. If we put 4 in for here, 2 times 4 is 8, and 8 plus 8 is 16. So in total, they've done 16 oil changes, or for each person total. Vera and Isaac, the boy she was babysitting, were playing basketball together. Her score was 26 points, and his score was 20 points. Vera wanted to make the game more fair, so she called a timeout and modified the rules a bit. Vera explained that, for the rest of the game, she would get three points per basket, and Isaac would get six points per basket. Then they played a bit longer. After the timeout, they both made the same number of baskets and ended up with a tie score. How many baskets did each person make after the timeout? How many points did each person have at the end? So we have Vera and Isaac made so many baskets. So we're going to do B for baskets for score of, da, 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 da. let's do P for score or points because I don't want to use an S because it might look like a 5. So we'll do points, which means score. Okay, what did we know? Vera's score was already 26. So for Vera, her points, she already had 26, but after the time out, she's going to get three points per basket. Isaac his points, he already had 20, but he's going to get 6 points per basket. P equals and P equals, so we're going to cancel those out and do some math. So 26 plus 3B equals 20 plus 6B. We're going to subtract the 3B. We're going to subtract the 20. We're going to divide by 3, and our baskets are 2. Both Vera and Isaac made two baskets after the timeout. Because they made two baskets, we want to know how much their score was. So you can choose either Vera's equation or Isaac's equation. It doesn't matter. Let's use Isaac's. We want his points. 
He already had 20. And then he got six points each and made two baskets. So six times two is 12, plus the 20 is 32 points. Mrs. Mitchell is researching what it would cost to order flower arrangements for a fancy party. She wants one large centerpiece for the head table and smaller arrangements for the smaller tables. Fairfax Florist charges $13 for each smaller arrangement plus $31 for the large centerpiece. Kendra's Flowers, in contrast, charges $27 for the large centerpiece and $14 her arrangement for the rest. If Mrs. Mitchell orders a certain amount, certain number of small arrangements, the cost will be the same at either flower shop. What would the total cost be? How many small arrangements would that be? So we're gonna do C. We're gonna do C for cost. And A for small arrangements. Again, I don't want to use the letter S because I don't want it to look like a five. Okay, so for Fairfax, how much would it cost? So if I want to know how much it's going to cost, I'm going to use the letter C at the beginning. She's only going to order one large one for the head table. And then she is going to pay $13 for every small arrangement. At Kendra's, the cost is going to be $27 for the large and $14 for the small. So $31 plus <coughs> Thirteen A equals twenty seven plus fourteen A. Subtract the thirteen A you have thirty one equals twenty seven plus 1a, subtract the 27, she wants to order four small arrangements. If she wants to order four small arrangements, I could put the four here or put the four here. And to be honest with you, one's not any easier than the other. So let's just use Fairfax. So the cost is going to be 31 for the large one and $13 for every small one and she's going to order four. 13 times four is 52 plus 31, which would be $83. Carrie's looking for a job cutting hair. One option is self-employment at the Landbury Salon where she would pay $342 per month to rent a station and keep all of her earnings. Another option is to work at a franchise where she would just have to pay the salon $3 for every haircut. If she performed a certain number of haircuts every month, the amount paid to the either salon would be the same. How many haircuts would that be how much would Carrie pay? Well, we really already know that one. We know that Carrie would pay three forty-two dollars because it said that without any kind of money going out. But let's pretend that we don't. So, perform haircuts. So, H for haircut. And then P 
to pay. If she owned her own store, her own salon, or him, it could be either one. Oh, she, okay. So, if she did herself, her pay would be three forty-two dollars every month. If she rented, she would have to pay $3 for every haircut she did. So, that's going to be three forty-two dollars because that one is already by itself. So, 3H equals three forty-two. We want to know when it's going to be even. So, we would divide. She would have to do 114 haircuts every month to equal the 342 if she had her own salon. Last one. Alana, a caterer, is investing some money in equipment and employees to help grow her business. Recently, she spent $63 on equipment and hired a server who makes $16 per hour. Alana is hoping to make up these, ex these expenses at the next job that is scheduled, which pays a base of $66 in addition to $15 per hour that the server works. In theory, this event could pay enough to cancel out Alana's expenditures. How much would the job pay? How long would the job have to be? So, expenditures and pay. So, da, 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 da. trying to figure out what would be the. Let's just do M for money. H for hours. Okay, so what is she out? She is out. She spent $63 on it. Yeah, just a second. So her money Ugh. They were almost finished too. Her money that she's out is sixty three dollars. Then, $16 per hour for her helper. But she's going to make, when she does that catering business, she's going to, her money that's coming in is going to be $66 and $15 per hour. When are these going to be equal? So... 63 plus 16H equals 66 plus 15H. Minus the 15H. 63 plus H equals 66. Minus the 63. Three hours. Then you can put the three into here. Or the three into here. Let's do this one. So her money is going to be 66 plus whatever 15 times 3 is, which is 45, $111. I'll be here to help you. Don't stress.